cook two things, but there are so many things that are arrived on the table. This is like a whole Bengali feast. First, Anjan, you have to tell me what is what. Okay. Okay. I know this is this is uh, the dapching that we made. I know this is the shimpalok patori. Shimpalok patori that we made. We've got three things here. We've got luchis there. We've got something else happening there. It's a lot of food. This is the traditional bhoj, Bengali bhoj. Okay. You know. So in in this case, you're supposed to have one on the right, which you just touched there yeah, is this one. Posto, alu posto. Alu posto. Poppy okay. seeds cooked with potatoes. Sounds good. Okay. Then you have the banana flour curry. Banana flour curry. Very okay. delicate, very special, and most of the time it's only Bengal where it's used predominantly. Sure. Very difficult to handle. Okay. Then you have the dal, obviously, but this is mooge dal, okay. moong ki dal with with a bit of a coconut in that. Okay. Ek ghee hai, huh. Bengal ki traditional ghee. Okay. Is ghee ko thoda sa ek so, ha, halka sa. Okay. That's right. Okay. After that, now we go into the aloo bhaja. Salted potatoes and fried ones, which go as a combination. This is great. This is like the sali. Yeah, the that's like right, sali. Absolutely yeah. right. I'm going to try some of the banana flour sabzi. Posto is. Uh, Anjan's favorite. The potato. So it is our yeah. How about her? She's also. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, Harshita is. Harshita, are food. you fond of uh, Bengali food? Are you too young to enjoy the traditional Bengali food? Not really. I think we've grown up it with is. it. Yeah. Is this, yeah. Yeah. Jharkhana yeah. is definitely posto and dal. So. Some of this dab chingdi, which is oh my god, ah. with the rice. Now this is with the rice. With the rice, make some curry. This wonderful creamy curry. Little bit of rice that I've got left. I must say this this was a very interesting. The greens, you know, I can't put a, put my finger on the taste, but I can get the mustard coming in really sharp. And these, although it's one sort of homogeneous green. Uh, paste, if I may call it that. But there are two distinct flavors: the one of spinach and the other of the beans coming out. And it's it's interesting. It's really nice. Curry. Oh, this is this is like this is like food for the gods. This is nice. This prawn. Khub balo. Khub balo it. Khub balo it. This is very nice. This is the famous kosha mangsho. The kosha mangsho. No, I know what that is. That's a mutton, right? Yes. This has got no coconut, no nothing. Nothing, huh? nothing. It's okay. just a Bengali way of cooking bhuna gosh. Oh, that's very well put. It's that cinnamon, cardamom, and cloves. Okay. You know that powder, and the fact that it's marinated over overnight. Oh, that makes a difference. Overnight marination, and it's only cooked in. Bit of oil and bhunod through us. So no water, no water, water, not a drop of water, not a drop of water. That sounds very nice, and I will eat it with the luchis. There are and no uh, spices like uh, you know haldi, jeera. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's so right. it's only there's onion in it. Oh, yeah, onion and the garam masala. Onion, masa. ginger, onion. and vegetable. This rate, I don't need to go to Calcutta. Fantastic! So you've got Chinese, you've got Calcutta, you've got Machan, which serves an interesting Indian variety of food. Plus you've got what? Just biryani, and you've got sweet Bengal. As I started this episode saying, I'm a very jealous man. This guy has got too much food surrounding him. What can I say? But listen, thank you very much. Thank you to the rest of the family as well. It was great eating with you guys. Just meeting you, sure. yeah. And may you have many more restaurants, and may I get many more opportunities to eat with you. Truly a pleasure. We look forward to that. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Well, 
That brings us to the end of this episode of The Foodie. If you want to write to us, write to us at weekend.timesandout.tv. Till the next time, it's bye. Half a decade has been spent exploring, discovering and hunting for mouth-watering cuisines from all across the country. Many days and many nights have been spent analyzing what could be in store for us at the next destination. Now it is time to take a step forward and honor the finest from across the country who have made your experiences memorable and have left you hungry for more. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the Foodie Awards 2011, definitely coming soon.